Welcome back everybody to another episode on the iCraft server season 4 and in today's episode we are obviously starting off in our beautiful nether hub that was so thoughtfully designed by Mum Mumbles Mumbles by right here the sign says it sharp rose and waffles from nowhere and I gotta say they did beautiful the only thing I would change is the ceiling but I'm not sure what I'd make the ceiling be so I don't know but other than that, I love everything about it. It looks awesome. And I do agree with what Rose said. She said that this looks like a turtle. And yeah, it does. It does look like a turtle. It's a cute turtle, though. But anyways, in today's episode... My God, that's a loud portal. Ugh. Today's episode, we are heading down this tunnel, the yellow golden tunnel, to the shopping district. It is a district that we got planned and started a few weeks ago. And I haven't actually done much there aside from do some actual decorations of the portal entrance because I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to build yet. Now I do know that for the shop, as I mentioned in the last episode where we built the tower, that it's going to be a book selling books, a book shop, a book shop. And that still stands. It's definitely still going to be a book shop. That's for sure. I just had to work on getting a decent design laid out, and I finally have one. At least I think I do. Again, that is loud and crazy in my ear. But this is about the only thing I've actually contributed so far in the shopping district, is that we came through and we built these portals here. I framed it out nicely and put this decoration of the cobble and the stone all together to make it look nicer than just a mountain. But so far, we've had quite a few people actually come and build some things. First off, we have over here, I believe... Brick Builder. It is Brick Builder. He has all the nether stuff and he has different prices here. Oh, this is good to know. Three diamonds for quartz, one diamond for brick, one diamond for nether rack. I feel like that should be cheaper. It should be, oh, three stacks. That makes more sense. Two diamonds, three diamonds for glowstone. Jeez. Jeez. That's a little, that's a little much. I'd rather just go get the glowstone myself. Just saying. And then we have over here, this one is Bloxworth his aquatic world of wonder and I love it I especially love this giant guardian he built back here it's quite cute I wonder if there's any oh it looks like it's in the ocean how cute but yeah he has plentiful amounts of everything going on because of his uh ocean monument that he has set up as his base so this is where I'm definitely actually I don't have it on me but I need to buy sea lanterns how much are sea lanterns where are they sea lanterns one diamond per stack Oh my god, yes. That is so cheap. That's cheaper than glowstone. And it looks nicer than glowstone on the original texture pack. So why would you even want to buy glowstone? Brick builder. Brick builder. You need to fix your prices if your competitor is selling for that cheap. So good. This one over here, I believe, is serpent dagger? No. I don't know. I actually, I have no idea. Not serpent. This might be glitcher because glitcher likes to do this carpet trick so that no mobs can walk in. I think it's glitcher, but it's his shop that sells nothing as of right now. Probably going to be all endstone focused if you can't tell by all the purple and the purple. Then we also have a firework shop which has not really come together aside from the facade in front. And I forgot who's building that. I am a terrible eye crafter right now. And then finally we have right here this cute little bridge leading to this little mountain house thing. House hut house shop and it's gonna be it is it is Rose's dye shop she's got all the dyes going on for all the prices and everything put in here and then my favorite part about this is that it's the only place I found that has a bed now right here it says do not enter which I'm sorry Rose I've been entering because I need to use the bed before I make my own and this has been where I've been sleeping so I'm not taking anything I promise I just need to go to sleep thank you for your bed I feel like I'm Goldilocks just taking the bed that I find and being like whatever yeah, deal with it. Deal with it. Can we, like, hurry up and sleep faster, guys? This is annoying. Do, 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 do. You can see the sky changing over there. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, so for us, we're building our shop today. And actually, it's going to be a two-parter episode. The first part is going to be just building the outside. The second part is going to be decorating as well as being decorating the interior and the pathway. Because... This is where we've decided to put everything. I just didn't want to put it right in the middle because I do want to do like all four walls and not have it up against a mountain. So I figured why not build it on top of this mountain, right where that, that, that stone thing is, 
right there, just on the edge, make it look really pretty, have a windy road slash stairway going up to the top, all cobble and delicious looking like this is right here. Yeah, so that's the plan. So first we gotta get up there. I already built like a somewhat decent pathway. I say somewhat decent because it's still quite a hard pathway to get around. Um, um, I think this is the right way. Out over here, up here, up here, okay. And then come up here. It took forever to mine out just the staircase to get up here. This isn't gonna be the official stairway because I wanna put it on the other side. I don't wanna have to make it go over Glitcher's shop down there, but I want it to have like its own standout piece of road, kinda. You know, if we could just get to the top in a timely matter, that would be great. Absolutely great, come on, come on, come on. Okay, perfect. So up here, we're gonna go ahead and build it, not on the edge, but pretty much right here in this area and landscape around a little bit and have it kind of, no, I don't wanna have anything overlooking it, but we'll have it here and we'll kind of landscape the area to make it look nicer. And for this shop, it's kind of similar to the inn that I built a few episodes back, which I wasn't trying to per se, but it kind of just happened that way. Um, I guess you can say I really like that design because I really do. Oh yeah, I can take all this. Let's go ahead and take it off. This beautiful, beautiful ice. So easy too. Just to get rid of. Huh. I haven't really used ice for anything. I should probably figure out designs that use ice. That'd be smart. That'd be nice too. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about, I'm just going to finish clearing up this ice section here and then actually fill it over with some dirt and then get started on building everything. So as always, like we do, we're gonna jump straight into a time lapse using the replay mod. And I hope you guys all enjoy it. Why is this taking forever? I don't know. I don't know, whatever. Let's just, let's just get to work, huh? Let's get to work.
Well, I had to end that time lapse right there where I did because I actually ran out of spruce. And in order to continue building on the inside, I really need to go get some more spruce. So I'm going to go do that after I finish this episode with you guys. In case you can't tell, we got the exterior, ex, exterior, 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 exterior done. Exterior, I cannot talk done, of our cute little bookstore. And I decided to name it with the help of my husband, Knowledge is Power. I don't know if you can see that. Knowledge is Power Bookstore by Iandis. Yes, I should write by I and some husband, but that doesn't fit on a thing. But yeah, <laughs> and I think it personally turned out really cute. I'm really, like, it's so cute. I originally planned for it to be taller, but I think the shortness makes it, it makes it work better. And I went ahead, in case you can't tell, I went around and planted a bunch of trees with all those saplings I brought. And I just, I really wanted to make it look a bit better than just a totally vacant land with nothing up here. And then the, for the next episode, like I said, we're going to do that pathway up here. And then I also want to do um, some hidden lighting and decorations within this little forest area to make it look nicer than just a whole bunch of sea lanterns thrown about like that. Yeah, that's not very becoming at all. And I also want to keep going around and chaining all that stone into grass slash dirt because it's annoying to have a whole bunch of patches of stone and I can't have any grass grow on it. Yeah. But that's all something i got to do for the next episode. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you enjoyed watching me build this little cute bookstore. Yeah, hopefully we make lots of money with it. Hopefully. <laughs> but I'll definitely see you guys on the next episode. Make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy. Comment if you have anything you'd like to add. And of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe, especially if you're new here. That really helps me out a lot. And as always, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.